Welcome everyone to Real People, Real Stories. And we are so excited that you're here to join us tonight. And uh, my name is Dr. Barbie Phillips and I'm coming to you from Fargo, Oklahoma. I am a chiropractic physician for people and animals. And um, I'm so happy to bring you um, a guest tonight that I think you're really going to enjoy. And Bart, I'll have you go ahead and turn your camera off just shortly, and then we'll open up at the end. Thank you so much. And um, so we want to get started tonight and just welcome our guest here in a few minutes. And we have a wonderful, fabulous co-host tonight filling in for Kathleen, who had to be gone tonight. So we will uh, introduce her in just a moment. I would like to take a few minutes um, to share with you what we're going to talk about tonight. And we are going to talk about redox molecules, which is what's in this wonderful blue bottle. And it's in this gel form also here. And we are going to hear from a guest tonight who has had great success with the use of these molecules. But if you are new to our Zoom calls, and this is the first time you're hearing about redox molecules, I would like to take just a minute to share just a little bit about them. So redox molecules are something that we're born with, and we need these molecules for all of our cells to properly function in our body. As we know, these cells, they make up tissues and organs, and all these tissues and organs have to communicate with one another so our body parts can do what they're supposed to and we can be healthy. Unfortunately, what can happen after about the age of puberty we start declining in the ability to make these precious redox molecules. And when that decline happens, sometimes health challenges can come on because our cells can't communicate and do their job. And redox molecules are imperative for helping our cells to, um, they help detect bad cells and they help repair bad cells. If the cells can't be repaired, then they help our body get rid of them so we can produce more cells and then our body can be healthier. However, as we age, we still have limited ability to make these molecules. So replenishing them through the one and only ASEA Redox Company uh, is imperative for great health. I will mention right now a disclaimer that anything we hear tonight from our guest is simply just her testimony. And we wanna remain compliant in our testimony and we'll do so. But I do want to mention that we're not trying to diagnose or treat any medical conditions. So starting with that, I will uh, introduce our guest co-host, Sherry Marshall. And Sherry, I'd like you to go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us a little about yourself, and then have you interview our wonderful guest tonight. I can't wait to interview you, Jenny. <laughs> Sherry. I'm looking forward to this. My name's Sherry Marshall. I have been with ASEA for 11 years. I absolutely love this company. For 30 years, I was with AT&T, Corporate America, and um, and that's quite a trip. Um, at, but I've been retired now for 20 years. So uh, it's been, a, the, the last 11 years have been the best years of my life. Um, in corporate America, I managed over 500 people at one time, and I was over a training center for like 10 years. So, you know, I loved a lot of that, but it's nothing like the freedom that you experience with this company and being able to help people. And for me, being able to help animals make a difference, it has made a huge difference in my life. So, Jenny, we're going to get right into the interview part of this because this is about mm -hmm. us this is really about redox stories and I read a little bit about yours and I can't wait to hear it personally from you so tell us a little bit about where you were before what was your body doing what was your life like before you were introduced to redox thanks Sherry um hello everyone my name's Jenny and this is my story I have a lot of health challenges. Some I was born with, some I've collected along the way, as you do. And uh, it was very tough living day to day. Um, I've always had um, discomfort in my whole body ever since I was little. And um, in the last few years, it's gotten a little bit harder. 
and it's just gotten worse and worse as I go along and get getting to work and the discomfort would be really strong and on a scale of uh, six to ten each day with spikes to um, ten regularly uh, and it would cause me to scream out in agony and I'll get spasms and the spasms could be anywhere in my body any time of the day or night and I would be curled up on the floor. Now I am a registered nurse and when you're at work and you're attending to patients and you get the sharp stabbing discomfort or the spasms and you still got to be caring for the patient it can be extremely difficult and there were times that I would curl up um, on the floor of the nurse's station and the nurses and doctors would be saying are you okay and I'd be saying this is normal <laughs> that's it this is normal this is me and um, then I got uh, a virus that was quite devastating to my body and for 12 months after that, it was quite bad because it also affected my heart and everything was really tough. I could only do four-hour shifts at work and I'd only just found my dream job and it was fantastic. And just the four hours was a real struggle. And then I had to cut down from like five days down to four, down to three, down to two, down to one. And then April last year, my body just went, no, nah, no more. So I actually haven't worked since April last year. And I would just go from bed to lounge chair for the day and then back to bed. It was a struggle to eat. I would just grab stuff out the pantry. It was mainly breakfast cereals, you know, things like that. My nutrition suffered. Um I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go shopping. I couldn't go gardening. I couldn't do housework. My social life suffered and I wasn't working. I didn't have money coming in. I was relying on government funding, you know, and the doctor's bills were tough and the medication bills were tough and everything was just so bad. I was so low. I was so inflamed um my joints they don't like staying in the position that they're supposed to be and every day when I'd wake up it was like oh yeah what's out and I'd have to put my fingers in my knees in my ankles in and there was a time there when my knee went out and for over 12 months I was going to the chiropractor regularly trying to get it put back in and wearing the brace and with my conditions uh, I just have to wear braces all the time. And so since April last year, right up until December, I was wearing braces nearly every day and using Canadian crutches and using a walking stick and scooting around my flat in an office chair. I was told I was going to need a wheelie walker very soon and that I shouldn't be working and all the rest of it. And I thought, no. I'm not old enough for a wheelie walker. <laughs> but safety comes first. So, but I still haven't got one. And then in December, it was when I received my redox signaling molecules. And I started on that. And so for two weeks, I was on the liquid. Then for two more weeks, I was on the gel as well as the liquid. And then I started noticing big changes. We had wild weather changes here in Australia. We had cyclones off the coast and, you know, you'd have the heat waves, you had the wind, you had rain, you had the storm. I would always feel that and that would make me feel like it was pressing down and squashing me. I don't feel that anymore, ever. I've, you know, I broke my little finger back in 2014. This was my rain gauge. <laughs> Every time it was going to rain, it would ache. It's been raining last night and today, and I don't feel it. I can't tell when it's going to rain now. That's amazing. Um, it's just bruises disappear after four days instead of two weeks. Um, wounds heal in four days instead of a week or two. 
uh, my inflammation in my joints has gone down significantly. I don't have as much problems with all my joints. I haven't had to wear braces for a number of months now. This is absolutely awesome. This is a game changer for me. I have my quality of life back. The I can't explain what it's like. I used to get, I still do get severe back spasms because being a nurse, you injured your back early in your career, stuff happens. And when I get the back spasms, it used to lock my whole back. And it used to take four to seven days of medication before it would release and I'd be able to do things normally. Well, this lovely stuff here, I put it on my back and it loosens it up within one application. I'm dead serious and I can start living my life again. It is absolutely amazing. Um, my knee hasn't gone out in mm, quite a few months and I don't have to wear the ankles braces. I don't have to wear the hand braces. I have grip back in my hands. In the mornings, I used to wear my arthritis gloves that have got a non-slip grip on the palms here. And I used to need two hands to hold my coffee cup first thing in the morning with the arthritis gloves on. I can do it one-handed now and use the handle. It is amazing. I just automatically did it one day and it's like, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, two weeks ago, I went and uh, I had an iron infusion and they said, make yourself comfy. And the nurse said, how are you sitting like that? And I looked down and I was sitting cross-legged. It has been so many years since I've been able to sit the way I used to as a kid, cross-legged on the bed, all relaxed, all happy. It's absolutely amazing. I'm getting my flexibility back. Um, I don't look as drawn and it's like my wrinkles are going. <laughs> that is really good. Um, what else has happened? Uh, I'm just yeah. absolutely amazed. I used to get all these altered sensations, like electric shocks happening anywhere through the body that would cause me to scream. Very interesting when you're driving in a car, especially when I've got my older family members in the car with me and I start going... <laughs> well I'm driving and it's like are you okay yeah I'm fine I'm not a problem here <laughs> they are so happy I'm not screaming anymore they feel a lot safer but um I've always had these issues I've had numbness I've had tingling I've had cotton wool feeling on my feet I've had all sorts of altered sensations I felt like someone has poked me with a knife or with a needle or anything like that I don't have that anymore my orthopedic surgeon is very happy with my knee, how the swelling's gone down, how the mobility's increased. My cardiologist is extremely happy with how everything is progressing. My GP is so happy that my bloods are starting to even out. Uh, bad cholesterol's coming down, good cholesterol's going up, and all these other things are getting level. My hairdresser, oh my goodness, she says, I've never been able to tilt your head all the way down. I've never been able to just push your head around the way I need to. You've always been super sensitive to everything. I don't jump anymore. It's absolutely amazing. And my chiropractor, who is my sponsor, is so happy with how I have improved, how my health has improved, how my life has improved, how my outlook has improved. Because it's pretty hard when your life is just bed to lounge and back to bed. And there were days when you couldn't shower. I mean, for me, a registered nurse, I'm used to showering twice a day, sometimes even three times a day. And when you can't do that and you can't wash your hair, that's not good. <laughs> that is so not good. Jennifer, I, Jenny, I've got to ask you something because you seem so well. You seem so enthusiastic. Anybody meeting you now would not ever believe what you've been through. Um. And, you know, I read a little bit about your story, but hearing it from you, how many years did you actually go through this where it was this terrible discomfort for so long? At How many years do you think? Well, I don't remember ever not being in pain. 
it's just gotten more severe as the years have gone on. Um, and it was two years ago that I got a virus and five weeks after that is when the virus attacked my heart. I was at the GP clinic and that's when it happened. And it's been since then for 12 months and then it was a struggle and all my sharp stabbing discomfort was just worse. And so I'd say the worst pain has been the past two years. Okay. So before that, there was a lot of discomfort, but it was manageable somewhat. The last two years, it became unmanageable. And then when you yeah. started taking this, it was about a month in whenever that you started to, it started to lift. Is that right? Yes, yes and, that's right. And how much do you think has really happened between then and now, as far as the level of discomfort, would you say that it's gone, almost gone, close to being gone? Where Where is it? Uh, on a daily scale, I think my discomfort is a three to four with spikes to five, which is a huge difference to what it was before. It was always, you know, six to eight to 10, quite regularly, every day, any hour of the day. And when you're out trying to socialise, trying to dance, trying to work, trying to drive, trying to have normal conversations with people, and you have all this stuff going on, it's very difficult. The brain doesn't like it. And I'm starting to get a bit more clarity and a bit more relaxed, which is good. And, you know, the thing of it is, is that... Um... I'm glad we're recording this because in a year or two, when you look back, you're going to go, really, was I in that much discomfort? The brain does funny things for us because that's why I tell anybody who's who's on this, be sure and record your journey because it's so easy to forget where we came from. This is yes. such a huge thing that, um, that happens to our body. So I'm so glad you've yes. experienced it. So you... I yes. know that there's some other uh, testimonials here because we talked a little bit about your face. So what have you noticed with the skincare? Uh, my face is a lot smoother, a lot less wrinkles, and it's just clearer. And my hairdresser is impressed. And she's just, yeah, everything's starting to smooth out. I don't feel as old and ragged. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, oh, Barbie's going to share yep. something. Oh, there it yep. is. Wow. There it is. Yep. Well, that look was, at that. Yeah, that was one month of me using the face care products. One month. Big that's, difference. That's amazing. I mean, if you look at even the jawline and everything else, and, and you think about the thousands of dollars people spend on, on skin care, yep. Um, it's, it's amazing. I know before that it was actually, it came out, I tried everything that there is. So this is, uh, this is amazing. That's a wonderful testimonial to that. What other yes. products do you really utilize with the, uh, with the Sia Redox? Uh, the clay mask. I love the clay mask. It is really good. I love the clay mask. I've also used the little blue tube of the concentrated Renew 28. Um, the little blue tube that was that's really good to um really get into those areas of uh problems like wrinkles etc skin blemishes but the renew 28 this tube really is a lifesaver so this on the outs works on the outside all the way in and this works on the inside out and this is really good for my ASEA, um, when I first started, I was having, I started very slowly due to my health, is health issues, health uh, conditions. I started with 10 mil twice a day for two days and then upped it every 10 mil. And uh, after the four weeks, I was having two cups, per, uh, two of the little, little cups that we use. So that's what, 120 mil? Uh, morning and night and a couple throughout the day. I am now having half a bottle to a bottle a day because this is what my body needs. And I know when I don't take it, I can feel it and everyone else can notice it as well. And this, I basically bathe in it at least once a week, if not twice a week. 
uh, it's good for every area of your body. And it has helped heal a lot of bruises. I bruise so easily. I'm sure a lot of people do. And as you get older, you have all those scars. You go, where did I get that? And you go and you rub this on. It's like, oh, that's healing. <laughs> so it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Um, but, yeah, this this is really good on my back, on my neck. Um, I like to rub it all around my neck, my whole neck, at least once a day because that is the highway to the brain. I heard that from someone else, um, Mr. Tyndall. And uh, I thought, that's great. So I rub it right around my whole back. You got your blood vessels, you got your nerves, you got everything else there. And it helps the brain and it helps the rest of the body. What else would you like to know, Sherry? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I got to tell you, you know, so uh, I don't know if if anybody has any other questions for you, but it's like I just it's hard for me to believe that you're in any kind of discomfort. I mean, because a lot of times discomfort brings depression. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, and what I what I notice is that you have a very uplifting attitude. Were you always like that, or whenever that you were in the depths of this, did did your did yes. what were did you suffer some from from that? Mostly, I've always been upbeat. Um, my friends will say, "You're always happy. You look good. Um, how are you going?" I just say, "I'm fine. I'm great." And in reality, I wasn't. But um, when I was having my bad days, especially at work, people could notice. <laughs> they could tell the pain would show on your face. And especially when you start talking and if someone's annoying you, you've got to walk away very quickly so that you don't say something you shouldn't. It's just the pain can just interfere mm -hmm. with your brain so bad. And uh, you really got to be very careful. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's it's amazing now. I still have a long way to go. I'm still on all my medications. My GP and I are keeping a very close eye on it. We are following blood tests. Um, so I can't go off them yet. I've only been on it, it's what, four months? So it's amazing. In four months, I've done a lot, but I still don't know if I'm up to going back to, to nursing yet. Um, I still have a little bit of uh, fatigue happening, tiredness happening. And I can only do so much, but I can do an hour in the garden instead of five minutes. I can go out for five hours instead of a two hour max. Um, I actually drove down to the Gold Coast for our conference and back again by myself. And that was really, really good. That was at the beginning of March. That was really, really good. But when I got home, I had to rest and I had to take a bit more of the redox signaling molecules to to fix me um but it's i've got a better quality of life right it doesn't matter how old you are it's or what you do it's the quality of life and mine's improving um i still got a long way to go yet but mine's improved a huge amount um people notice People notice the difference. Well, I, I have never met you before now, but I can tell you that you're somebody that um, I would love to meet in person because just you just exude this uh, energy that is so attractive. And so, uh, you know, I uh, I don't know, Barbie, do you want to open it up to questions or where do you want to go from here? I'm helping her out with this interview and I'm not sure where you want to go now. <laughs> Yes, I, I, we have about 10 minutes left on our uh, Zoom that we can use. And so I would like to open it up. If anyone has questions for Jennifer, this is a great time to turn your camera on, um, turn your microphone on, and we'll get those questions answered. Hey, Tim. Yeah. Hey, Dal. I do have a question. Um, my husband has been taking the redox molecules for about, uh, 10 days, two weeks now, and just wondering um, how he goes about um, changing the flavour of it because to him it just tastes like plastic. Is that normal or is that um, something that 
uh, will go away with time. Barbie, do you want me to take it? Sure. <laughs> and then you can jump in. Okay, so what I've what I've seen in the years is that um, the taste is so different for each person. And it's because our bodies are so different than each other's. So uh, when when we first started on it, when I first started on it, it tasted very chlorine-y. And now it just tastes like water to me. Sometimes people have got to, um, sometimes can he stand it enough to take it? Yes, he can. Um, oh, it's just perfect. a bit unpleasant. Well, perfect. What what I tell people, and uh, this may not be appropriate for this call, but I said, I tell people, have you ever taken a shot of liquor? And they'll say, yes. And I'll go, yeah. was it pleasant? And they'll say, no. And I go, right. Really? But you did it for the feeling. Okay. That's yeah. this. <laughs> okay. All right. So you might, it's not probably a good analogy yeah. for health, but it works for me in order to yeah. really get yeah. past the taste. <laughs> yeah. It, it tasted like chlorine to me too, but um, yeah. Uh, Bart, you got anything to say? Uh, yeah, I do actually. It was a, a brilliant testimonial. Um, Jenny, well done. I, I think it was uh, so pro so good. I, said, I noticed a couple of posts that you had before where you'd posted how you used to feel before Redox and showed some pictures, uh, I think on your Facebook. Uh, of the braces and different things that you had. And I was yeah. just um, just so happy for you and so upbeat. I think the other thing that I was really impressed with was that you were able to come drive all the way from Bundaberg down to the Gold Coast for the conference. And you yeah. hadn't been able to do a drive like that for, you know, eons. So, of years. Yeah, you, a number of you, years, yeah. You drove all the way there yourself and all the way back and yeah. something that you couldn't have other, uh, otherwise been, otherwise have done. So the mobility... Yeah. The uh, and and you're right. When you don't feel well, your attitude and everything it just it affects life so much. It's just draining. So it's great to see you have a uh, your bubbly self back. <laughs> Thank you, Bart. Thank you very much. And the post he's talking about when I had the braces on was this one. I took it when I was sitting in my recliner. Don't know if you can see. I've got a uh, wrist brace on, two knee braces on, two ankle braces on. I've got the towels down because I've got ice packs underneath. I mean, I have eight ice packs and I just ice my whole body, the whole spine, the whole legs, everything. And that was my life. Wow. And thank you, Bart. I appreciate you your talk, Bart. <laughs> Mira, you got anything? <laughs> no? Okay. Yeah, um, I do. Any? Sorry. Yeah? I, yeah, I just had to unmute. Um, we haven't known each other for that long. I think about six months and I've just yes. seen a tremendous difference between then and now. And I just, yeah, can't wait to, uh, play golf together and go to the global convention together and just, uh, yeah, see your health, uh, keep improving. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Thank you, Mira. Now I will warn you, I was a hockey player when I was a kid. So golf is a little bit different yeah <laughs> i tried it before <laughs> fun fun thank you yeah tan you got anything darling no i don't oh well apart from the fact that we've known each other for years and yes i have noted how different you are now it's fantastic and it's great that you can go and have a life now instead of just sitting at home, even though that can be nice So, because I'm not peopley today, so I'm not going out. Um, but yeah. it's just fantastic that um, you've, come back, you've, you've come back to being able to live your life well instead of, oh, my God, I have to go out today. That's just awful. And... We, we have also been able to go to coffee for more than 30 minutes. So that's yeah. always a great thing as well. Yes. Thanks, Tan. Yes, going out for coffee and that. You used to take hours of planning beforehand mm -hmm. and hours of recovery afterwards mm -hmm. just to go for a coffee and yep. chat. Yep. yep. Just to socialise. Yep. I do Jenny, understand I that. This is all such great information. Um, I am going to go ahead and wrap it up because we're going to run 
uh, shy on our Zoom time here pretty quick. So thank you, Jenny, uh, so, so much for sharing your story. Sherry, thank you for being a fabulous co-host tonight. And thank you to everyone for participating. Uh, we would like to invite you back in two weeks, April 30th. We will have another guest that we will interview. Uh, tonight's Zoom will be recorded and it will be replayed on the Creation Chiropractic uh, YouTube channel. And we hope that you will grab that Zoom call, share it with others and share uh, Jenny's amazing testimony. If you do have uh, questions, feel free to reach out uh, to Creation Chiropractic at 580-698-2852, or you can reach us on our Facebook page as well. And any final comments from you, Jennifer or Sherry? Yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone. Uh, I really appreciate all the work that's gone into the redox signaling molecules all these years. Thank you to the scientists, to the founders, to absolutely everyone. Um, these little redox signaling molecules are working their little tails off in me and I've still got a long way to go. And it'll be interesting to see where I am in 12 months time, like you said, Sherry. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Sherry. And thank you, Barbie. Thank you, Bart. Thank you, Tanya. And thank you, Mal. I think I know who Mal is. Um, and is there any other, any other ones, any, um, any other questions? Anyone? Well, I'd, I'd like to just say one thing, and that is what you said, Jenny, about the quality of your life. That's really what, to me, this is all about. We found something that absolutely gives us the quality of our life for as long as we live. And I think that that's absolutely fabulous. And I'm so glad you found it. Thanks, Sherry. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Barbie. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And we would like to also remind you that when you do purchase your products, please do purchase from a reputable associate. Um, you want those people to guide and direct you and make sure that you're getting proper products and not something that is not uh, not real and not safe for you. So we'll wrap it up. See everyone in two weeks. Hope you'll join us back. Have a great one and take care.